Prepare your brain for the best puzzle games to play on PC in 2022. If you want something that's going to challenge your powers of deduction, instead of just the speed you can press the dodge button, you've come to the right place. PC gaming in 2022 is rich with the kind of experiences that will make you feel like a certified genius by the time you see the end credits. And there are even games that mean you can bring a friend along on the ride. So subscribe to Logitech G, you know, it's the smart thing to do, and let's break down the best puzzle games to play in 2022. If last year's It Takes Two has you hungry for more meaty co-op adventures, then the latest in the We Were Here series will test your powers of communication to the limit. Instead of a split screen to help you see what your partner can see, We Were Here Forever relies entirely on your radio chatter to work together to make your way out of the sinister Castle Rock. Think of two brilliant escape rooms running simultaneously, and you'll be on the right track as you both traverse complex rooms of puzzles and traps. This is definitely one of the high points of the franchise, as every intelligently designed puzzle on offer requires new levels of deduction and the power of accurate communication. Say What You See is absolutely essential as you make your way through the castle. As with previous episodes in the series, expect to forge magnificent friendships, or perhaps lose them forever. Escape or oh, face defeat. Let's see which fate our guest shall meet. <laughs> Next up, we've got a chance to see if you're a sufferer of thalassophobia. The terrifying darkness of silt is set deep beneath the ocean wave, which a remarkable number of us have a serious fear of. So if you've ever wondered why you don't really like swimming in the sea when you can't see the bottom, now you've got a name for it. Thankfully, the horrors of this atmospheric side-scrolling puzzler probably won't be down there. We hope. Silt sees you play as a lone diver, slowly swimming their way through the depths. Thankfully, they've got the power to possess other creatures to use their abilities to progress. Although this doesn't make it any less terrifying, where nightmare fuel looms out of the dark with more teeth than is fair. Just be prepared to take a lot of screenshots as you go, as the visuals from artist Mr. Mead create miniature, watery masterpieces. After the stresses of silt, you might need something a little more relaxing, and few recent puzzle games are quite as meditative as Dorf Romantic. Forgive its slightly strange title, as this is all about placing pleasing little hexagons on a gradually growing landscape. Now just out of early access, there's never been a better time to sink into a cozy world of forests, train tracks and towns. All we need to do is grow this world with the right numbers of individual elements, and it will come to life as we build. It's a lot like building a living jigsaw that reacts to every single addition. Trains start chugging along the tracks and boats take to the water as rivers and lakes expand. Plus, now it's out of early access, there's a full creative mode when you don't want to be restricted to the puzzle requirements. Ah, peace. Our second watery game on this list is Far Changing Tides. But don't worry, you won't need to dive as far into the depths for this one. Compared to Silt, this could be considered mere paddling, as we find resources to power a unique craft across an expansive flooded world. Where the first game, Far Lone Sails, was entirely devoid of water, and we had to find other ways to power our vehicle across sands, changing tides means plenty of hunting for supplies to power engines, as well as making the most of well-positioned sails. Our lone character, Toe, must find inventive ways to make his way through this world. And there's real beauty in the moments where everything is working perfectly in harmony before the next challenge or obstacle. What's also lovely is that it's only five hours or so long, making this a perfect puzzle morsel with a great environmental narrative. If we're still talking about fears, it turns out that you really don't want Kagombophobia, the fear of cardboard boxes, when playing Patrick's Parabox. 
This is a game built from those classic push-pull box puzzles we've played all our lives, but developer Patrick Trainer's version has a unique twist. Not only do you have to interact with these boxes, but each one has multiple layers and its boxes all the way down. No, seriously, look. But don't worry, like the very best puzzle games, we're introduced to each concept one at a time, making us feel seriously smart by the time we reach the later levels, having mastered the theory at work. You could say it'll make you think outside of the box. No? We'll get our coat out of a box. If you thought you'd fix the world's over and underground rail travel woes in Mini Metro, it's time to turn your attention to the exhaust, fume-scented problems of the roads. Dinosaur Polo Club's travel follow-up is just as compelling as the original, as we connect houses to factories and generally try to improve the commuting lives of the invisible inhabitants of little rectangular cars. Of course, it starts off with everything going swimmingly and running to time, but with only limited road tiles, interchanges and motorways, traffic jams are only ever mere seconds away. Will your city run smoothly with perfect traffic lights and smartly placed emergency roads? Or will your poor commuters end up listening to far more podcasts than anyone ever should? The tarmac power is in your hands. And finally, a joyful reminder that the art of the perfect point-and-click adventure isn't lost just yet. And art is the key word. Before we even get onto the puzzles that await, Siberia the world before just looks gorgeous. Every scene is like a beautifully atmospheric interactive painting full of fascinating clockwork automatons. And thankfully, the game is far more than just a perfectly lit exercise in concept art. Strange. We don't just join Siberia series hero Kate Walker this time around, but also Dana Rose, a pianist in the shadow of the Second World War in the 1930s. The fates of this pair are intertwined, but exactly how is why we're here. Everything in this world is oh so touchable, and whilst the puzzles are often complex, the solutions never feel as tenuous as so many of the genre, letting us enjoy the world and narrative without a rage quit in sight. Sorry, I didn't see. So those are some of the best puzzle games to challenge your brain on PC in 2022. Let us know your favorites in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to Logitech G for more features just like this one. If you already subscribe, which thankfully isn't as challenging as Patrick's Parabox, hit that notification bell so you know exactly when our next video lands. 